All right, thanks for watching. And today we want to do something really, really, really cool. Because, as you may know, there is a Fibonacci sequence which just sums bunnies up, which that's why I love them. <laughs> and today, we would like to answer a very interesting question. Namely, what if you sum up all the Fibonacci numbers up to a point? And the cool thing is there's a very, very neat formula for it, which I'll discuss today. So let's just set it up. So assume we have the following Fibonacci sequence. So F0 is zero, F1 is one, and the Fibonacci numbers are defined recursively by Fn plus two equals Fn plus one plus Fn. And the question is, what is the um, sum of Fibonacci's up to the nth term? So let Sn be the sum from k to from I guess, 0 to n of fk. And the question is, is it possible to find Sn easier than like, with summing up stuff? But let's just motivate this a little bit. So Remember the Fibonacci sequence, it's 0, 1, and then you sum this, 1, and then 2, and then the next term is 3, and then 5, and then 8, and then 13, etc., etc. So this is F0, F1, F2, F3, F4, F5. That's all we need for now. And let's calculate Sn for various values of n. So S0 is just the sum from 0 to 0 of Fk. So that's just F0, and that's 1. So initially, the sum of bunnies is 1. And then S1, that's the sum from 0 to 1 of Fk. So F0 plus F1, and that just becomes 0 plus 1, which is 1. Also not quite interesting, S2 maybe a bit more interesting. So F0 plus F1 plus F2. And if you sum all those up, you get two. And then S3, that is F0 plus F1 plus F2 plus F3. Press F for Fibonacci. And if you sum those up, you get four. And then S4, it's the same thing up to F4. And then so you get 4 plus 3, which is 7. And the question is, how are those numbers related? For example, let's look at S2. That is 2, but which is also 3 minus 1. S3, that's 4, but that's 5 minus 1. S4, it's 7, but that's 8 minus 1. And so in particular, notice to calculate those sums, there's an easier way. You just take a certain Fibonacci number and you subtract one from it. Well, which one? Three is F4. So F4 minus one. Five is F5. So F5 minus one. Eight, that X is six, F6. So it's F6 minus one. So we actually get a very interesting explicit formula because look, S2, that's F4 minus 1, S3, that's F5 minus 1, S4, that's F6 minus 1. So in other words, to get the sum of the Fibonacci numbers, you have to go to two terms of head. So to get Sn, you need Fn plus 2 minus 1. So here's our conjecture, okay. namely Sn, it's Fn plus 2 minus 1, which is a very interesting property of the Fibonacci sequence. In other words, if you want to know the sum of the bunnies up to generation n, all you have to look is two generations forward and just subtract one from it. So interestingly, the number of grandparent bunnies is just the sum of all the bunnies minus one. So uh, which should also suggest that there will be lots of bunnies. 
All right. Now, you could do it by induction. It's not a problem. But it turns out there's a much nicer way of doing this. And it has to do with those telescoping series. Because uh, what do we know? Uh, we know that Fn plus 2 plus equals, if you want, Fn plus 1 plus Fn, which tells us in particular Fn can be written as a difference. Fn, that's Fn plus 2 minus Fn plus 1. And this is how you get this Fn plus 2, by the way. So in particular, Fk, that's Fk plus 2, minus Fk plus 1. And let's plug this into the definition of Fn. So, Sn, then they come. Again, the sum from k from 0 to n of fk, but that is the sum from k from 0 to n of fk plus 2 minus fk plus 1. But let's just write this out and see maybe something telescoping happening. So that's f2 minus f1 plus f3 minus f2 plus f4 minus f3 all the way up to fn plus 2 minus fn plus 1. And let's see. Well, f2 cancels out, f3 cancels out, f4 cancels out. Everything cancels out except f1 and fn plus 2. <laughs> So you cancel out, you cancel out, everyone cancels out, and we end up with Fn plus 2 minus F1, but remember F1 was just 1, so Fn plus 2 minus 1. How cool is that? Without even doing any induction proof or without doing any crazy calculation, we get this nice formula for the sum of Fibonacci's. Um, all right, so that's it for today. And if you like this and you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.